The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, one of the renowned for decades, one of the best business books out there. And many of you are probably watching this and never heard of the book, or you're like, oh, another self-help book. But let me tell you, this is one of, there's a reason why there's 15 million copies sold. And while some of these things will not resonate with you or click with you as far as like, oh yeah, they won't, you won't have those aha, oh yeah moments. Um, they, you, they will click later, if not now. So additionally, there's seven habits, right? You're like, oh, I got to go through seven things right now. No, I'm going to be only doing, the, I'm going to cut this book in half and only do the first three here. And as you see, the first three really you have to do with yourself, where the second three and the last one has to do more with, you know, being a manager, working with others, uh, building your leadership skills, things like that. So we're only going to be focusing on these first three habits only. And let me tell you, if you could start these habits early and work on them early, you will have massive success in your relationships, in your careers, in your personal life. It, it, it works for all of those things. So without further ado, let's go to the first one. Habit number one, be proactive. Here's a really simple graphic for you as well, right? Bringing an umbrella, right? Looking at the weather before you go out into the rain and bring in an umbrella just in case right? Versus a reactive person, they deal with like, oh man, we have poor weather again. And I didn't bring my umbrella. Like everything is just, it's just no matter what you do, it's just the world is against you, right? There's one way of thinking like that, that you're out, you're not in control and just bad things are going to happen to you at all times. And then the other way of thinking about this is that you have control. You, you have control of your circumstances. Things are not always going to be great, right? It will be, you will have rainy days, but at least you can try to have a positive attitude or you can prepare yourself for certain situations or, um, you know, like there's a stock market crash. Well, did you prepare a rainy day fund? Do you have some extra money set aside? Proactive people are still influenced by the external market, right? They still feel negative towards it. They still get emotional and, and react to it, but they have more control over it. They realize that these are just emotions and this too shall pass and thus they should stick to their plan and keep moving forward. So some of the things we see here is, you know, stopping to think about it. Are you, you know, being proactive or are you thinking reactively? Choose your attitude. Are you thinking positively or are you thinking negatively all the time? And I know it's not easy to control your attitude, but working on you know, developing these habits, you know, everything from journaling to having good exercise, right? Those are all things that can promote a healthy, positive attitude. Um, do the right thing, even when nobody is watching, be responsible and take initiative. It's hard, right? Everything from even just being proactive is, you know, getting up in the morning, washing your face, you know, doing personal hygiene, taking a shower, um, making your bed. Those things add up. You know, they make you feel good. You're like, yeah, I already made my bed today. I already did this. I already did that. Those things can definitely add a positive spin on your day. Habit number two, begin with the end in mind. Yeah, don't get so caught up in the moment. You know, figure out where you want to go. Maybe this day, this year, three years from now, figuring that out. Now, I'm going to give you a tip in a second here, but everything from setting your goals, planning ahead. Maybe you want to, you know, uh, leave a legacy behind, you know, a good way of thinking about this is if you were to die today or you're on your deathbed and, and I know this is a morbid example, you know, but, um, you know, having that timer on your life, right. You only have so much time on this. You know, maybe by the time you're watching this, we're on a different planet. You, well, you only have a certain amount of time for to live wherever you're living. And how do you want people to remember you? Uh, even if you don't have kids, you know, how do you want your friends to remember you? How do you want your colleagues to remember you? How do you want your family to remember you? And so that's how you start with number two is you write down these things that you want to be remembered for. And then when it comes to what are you going to do today? You know, you break down your day, you know where you eventually want to be. So it's much easier to make those plans and making sure you're on the right path. And then put first things first, right? So you've already made your goals. Now you know how to put your put the pieces into place. Is it going to college? Is it not going to college? Is it moving to a different country, a different state? Um, you know, figuring out what needs to get done first, building that foundation, and then working on from there. And in simpler terms, it could even just be a to-do to list, right? And there's certain things that have higher priorities than others, right? Yes, you need to pay off your credit card debt if you can, 
because otherwise that debt is going to start uh, increasing and before you know it could get out of control or there's there's something to do that's due today like a homework assignment or something like that something that you can't do later um, so prioritizing your to do's and making sure you see that end goal that we didn't have it number two so it's that simple having a proactive attitude have it beginning with the end in mind and then once you have your end goals and where you want to be put first things first right write a to-do list Put, give yourself a timeline, prioritize your tasks. And before you know it, you're going to reach your goals. It sounds so simple. Uh, but, you know, we're looking at these things in a much in, 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 you know, with a, with a larger scale, larger view. A lot of us are operating minute by minute though. And you might not be able to visualize these goals today, but let me tell you that it's these small steps that make huge differences, huge gains. You can do it. Go for it. If you're interested in part two, I'll be doing the next four habits in a second video. And I'll put a link in the description below.